Auzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi rabbil alamin. Es-salatu vesselamu ala eşrefil enbiya'i vel mursalin ve ala alihi ve ashabihi ecmain. Allahumma ja'alna minhum minallazina amanu ve amilu salihati ve tavasav bil hakki ve tavasav bil sabr. Amin ya rabbal alamin. Summa amma ba'd fa a'uzu billahi minash shaytanir racim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi şrahli sadri ve yassirli amri ve hlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidna ilma. Allahumma fakihna fid din. Allahumma anfa'na bima allamtana ve allimna ma yanfa'una ve zidna ilma. Allahumma sabbitna indal mauti bila ilaha illallah. Amin ya Rabbil Alamin. Rabbi yassir wa la tuassir wa tamim bil khair. So inshallah uh, Surah Dukhan Ayah 38 to 50 we will try to cover because they are all related and they are very small um, ayat. Every ayah is uh, two three words. So let's see how far we can go. So in last ayat, uh, in last sessions ayat, we saw that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was uh, talking to Bani Israel that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, rescued them from Bani Israel, from the tortures, from the uh, oppression of Bani Israel. And uh, they were the chosen uh, umma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they were given uh, ayat right and these ayat were very clear that uh, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam is the Nabi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these ayat were very clear that uh, uh, they have to fix their act because uh, <clears throat> these ayat were um, test for them to right so they were given many many ayat and these ayat were uh, test for them and why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was testing them because he was again collecting evidence uh, um, uh, to see that uh, they are deserving of this favor or not and they failed right and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala start talking about uh, um, Quraysh uh, right so th uh, that was uh, Quraysh and then uh, Allah, and what was the demand of uh, Quraysh that uh, uh, they said that okay this is the only life when we die we die and there is no concept of uh, resurrection in their dictionary so they say that okay if you are saying that we are going to be resurrected then you need to bring our forefathers alive and uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not entertain their uh, demand Rather, he um, redirected uh, by saying that, uh, do you know that there were many powerful nations before you guys? And they were all destroyed because they were criminals, because they were not listening uh, to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because they were uh, disobeying the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I told them about the previous nation so you guys need to get your acts uh, together otherwise the same thing gonna happen to you guys so then we uh, are going to start today's ayat and in this ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, uh, telling them that do you think and this is uh, uh, again uh, the uh, response for their uh, demand that they have made uh, that uh, this life is the only life and uh, if you are truthful then bring the uh, bring our forefathers so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that wama khalaqna samawati wal arda wama bainahuma laidin so we did not create it this heavens and the earth and whatever is in between whatever is in between all the creation and we are part of it right 
So la I been we Allah subhanahu wa taala is saying I did not make them as a fun. So that means there is accountability. There is resurrection. So let's start. So vama uh, vama and not. So this is manafia over here. Vama khalakna. We did not create as samawati the skies, wal ardwa and the earth, wama and whatever bainahuma is between them, between the heaven and the earth. La ibin as a uh, as a play, as a fun. So uh, wow over here is uh, taken as uh, wow istinafia, uh, starting a new sentence. Ma is uh, over here, ma nafia, and halakna, uh, we, uh, we can see that uh, skun noon, so this is uh, indication that this is madi, right? And na is for nahnu, so felun madin, failuhu, nahnu, so halakna, and we created, we created what? Assamawati wal ardo, right? So this... Uh, Mafulun uh, We have created Samavati. Why Samavati? Because it, it is uh, Aati patron, right? This is Muslim Aati patron. Wal Arda and uh, Vau over here is Motufunala. Uh, so Vau is over here Motufunala and Wal Arda uh, is Motuf to Samavati. And this Arda is telling us that uh, this Samavati is also. Uh, Mansu, right? So this is Mafulun Bihi. And Vama by Nahuma Laibin and whatever. So wow over here uh, is uh, um, um, a motif, right? Uh, Ataf and uh, Ma over here is Mamosula, which is Motufunala. By Nahuma, by now we know this is Zarf, right? Uh, so it is uh, uh, Zarf Makan over here. And uh, Huma is our mudafilehi, and together it is uh, Sila for Mamusula. And Laibin is the hal. Hal of what? Hal of uh, this Nahnu over here, Halakna. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create it anything, whatever is in the sky, and whatever is in the earth, and whatever is in between as a uh, Laibin, as a fun. Right, so this is uh, uh, the grammatical anal analysis, and uh, then Khalaqa is the Khalaqa Yakluku Khalkan and Khalikun. This is Bab Nasara, and then Laiba Yal Abu and Luban and Laiban. This is Bab Samia. Uh, okay, okay, so now. Uh, in these ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is uh, telling us that, uh, kind of giving the response to their uh, demand that, do you think that you're going to just live this life? Uh, and that's it. There is not going to be any accountability. That does not uh, befit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, uh, grandeur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ma majesty, that he just creates something just for fun, right? So there is accountability and uh, that message has been given in the quran Park many, many times. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed us and warned us over and over in the Quran that he did not create the universe just for fun. Many nations and people think that uh, God created the earth and heavens. So first there was just uh, earth and heavens and then he was bored, so he get bored, and he created us to play around with us, Nauzubillah. So this is uh, some uh, uh, people's concept or some nation's uh, concept that uh, uh, we are just uh, being created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to play around. So they think that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends difficulties and uh, natural disasters just to see us struggling for his own enjoyment. So he enjoy when we struggle, Nauzubillah. So one aspect of uh, Hindu creed is God play with humanity like a child. 
you know that if you give uh, any uh, action figure in the hand of a child, what he gonna do? He gonna twist and turn it, break it, throw it, right? So even though this is very action figure, right? But in the hand of a child, it's merciless. Uh, he is playing uh, with it merciless and uh, this action figure doesn't do and can do anything, right? So basically, this is their idea uh, that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is uh, kind of playing around with the creation of Zvilla. And uh, they, they think that this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing with the mankind because he has powers. So we live and die and that's it. So whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is playing around with them, giving them difficulties or uh, natural disaster or however they are doing, that's it. And uh, when they die, they die. So there is no accountability. It's wrong to think that way. Uh, and uh, it is out of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's majesty and glory that he would create something without a purpose. Does not be fit. Uh, um, that uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's greatness, right? Uh, he is uh, uh, like, uh, you know, um, he is so grand, right? And how um, uh, is it possible that he is going to uh, do something like that, right? So ultimate purpose of our uh, creation and the deen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and the, uh, the Sharia law that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, uh, they are there. <clears throat> so we get uh, our ultimate purpose of our life, right? And what is the <clears throat> ultimate purpose of our life? To get success, not in this dunya, but in the hereafter, right? So uh, this is a very um, wrong concept uh, uh, of people. They think that this is uh, uh, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is praying around them. That does not befit his, uh, um, his uh, uh, grandeur and his uh, greatness or his majesty that he should do that. And then we see this uh, uh, concept uh, even in Surat, uh, Tawabun, uh, it says, Zaama lazina kafaru. So, Zaama means to claim. So, the, uh, those who are disbelievers, they claim asu, that they are not going to be resurrected. Kul say, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that you tell them. Bala wa rabbi la tuba asun asunna. So, no doubt about it, right? La tuba asunna is so powerful. We have lam, one emphasis, and then nunun sakila, which is very heavy and very uh, powerful uh, uh, concept over here. So, la tuba asunna. <clears throat> so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, for sure, for sure, there is no doubt about it that uh, you all are going to be resurrected. Summa, then latu nabauna. So not only resurrected, but you are going to be informed again. Latub, latu nabauna. So again, lam and then nunu sakila. So very emphatic uh, 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 words over here. Subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that. Uh, he is going to inform you guys then, Bima Amiltum, what you guys used to do. And don't think this is anything hard on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's very easy for him to do it. And then uh, Surat Saad, it says, Wama Halakna Sama Awal Arta, Wama Bainahuma Batila. So uh, kind of uh, same concept over here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, he does not create it heaven and the earth and whatever in, is in between batilan, as a falsehood, as a play, as a just a vain, uh, uh, like um, without any purpose or aimless, right? So the creation has a purpose. Every, each and every creation, each and every species, each and every, even the insects, 
they are created for a purpose, right? So everything and every uh, one has uh, their purpose uh, of creation. So Zalika, that is Zannul Lazina Kafaru, that is the Zan. Zan is assumption. So these are the assumption of the disbelievers. And Vail is a name of a valley in the hellfire. And Vail also means like uh, uh, the translation it says, woe to me, right? Like when someone is uh, grief and uh, when something is done, right? It's done deal, something uh, uh, that cannot be undo. So for Vail, it's kind of regret, right? So kafaru. So uh, if we can take it as a uh, part of Jahannam, right? So this veil is for the uh, disbelievers. Minanar in the hellfire. So throughout the Quran Pak, the concept is very clear that uh, our uh, creation is uh, not here just to uh, for fun to live and uh, die. Rather, we know that. Uh, uh, we have to face all the consequences uh, how we are living this life. Uh, and as a Muslim, we have believed that, okay, we are going to stand in front of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But again, uh, if we have just having belief is not good enough, right? Our action should go accordingly. So if our action is not there, if we are not working towards it, then it, it is same like uh, we are denying it. So may Allah make us people of uh, uh, Amal. Uh, next ayah, ayah number 39. Ma khalakna huma illa bilhaq walakinna aksarahum la ya'lamun. So ma um, whatever khalakna huma uh, we uh, both uh, we created both of them, and this huma is referring to uh, uh, to the heaven and earth. And this ma is so sorry, not uh, uh, ma musula. This is again ma nafi over here. So ma not halakna. We created huma both of them. So we did not create it both of them, which is referring to heaven and the earth and whatever is in between. Illa except bil haki. Uh, uh, with the purpose or with the truth. Walakinna, uh, wala however, aksarahum, most of them, most of mankind, la yalamun, they do not know. So, uh, grammatically, if we see, then ma is our manafia, halakna is our felun madin, failuhu nahnu, and this huma is our mafulun bihi. And illa is the uh, adatul hasar. And uh, bil haki over here uh, is, uh, uh, we know this is mutallik uh, bil something. Uh, when we have jar masroor, uh, so we are either it could be mutallik bil fail or mutallik bil khabar, right? But it can also be mutallik bil file or mutallik bil mafool. Right, um, I think uh, uh, we did uh, that concept before. So now over here, uh, it's not about mutalik uh, bil uh, fail over here. Rather, grammarian are saying that uh, this bil haki is mutalik bil maful over here. And uh, uh, and what is this maful? Basically, they are saying that ma uh, halak huma. Illa amilina bilhak. So uh, the, we did not have created them, and uh, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala does not amilin. Uh, amil is uh, mean the worker, right? So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is not the one who create anything, but bilhak with the truth, like with the purpose. Uh, so this uh, basically bil haq over here is mutalik bil maf'ul, uh, which we are taking it as a amilin. 
Uh, and then wala kinna wow over here is uh, uh, wow halia and basically the whole sentence is uh, taken as a uh, jumla halia over here and so lakinna uh, inna anna ka anna uh, bi anna lakinna right so this is our uh, uh, lakinna plus aksara so which is uh, the isam of lakinna so together aksara hum this is our muqtada and la yala moon is our khabar uh, for lakinna. And uh, what else? So ma nafiya khalakna hum is ma din fa'iluhu and mafuluhu. So this huma is mafuluhu. Illa izadatul hasar bil haqqi is mutalikan bil um, it says mutalikan bi mahzuf hal. So they are saying that there is a hal masuf over here, which is amilin, right? So basically, amilin bil haq. So this is about that. And then walakinna aksarahum wow halia and lakinna and ismuha. And then la is la nafia and yalamon is fil uh, mutaria marfu, right? So when their its normal version is basically marfu. And uh, what is the file? This wow is called the file uh, in this mutaria. And jumla failia khabar lakinna wa jumla ismia hal. So this whole sentence is jumla ismia. And this is the hal. So this is basically the grammatical analysis. Okay, now. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responding to such people who think that this worldly life is just for fun and there is no accountability. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that we have created everything with a clear purpose. However, most of them have no knowledge. And then about Bil Haq, uh, uh, Ibn Abbas, Razila Talanho, they said that uh, Bil Haqi mean for the truth. Bil Haqi mean for the truth, meaning for a greater purpose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. And then Bil Haqi also could mean because of the truth, right? Because of his uh, majesty. <coughs> He cannot create anything just for fun, right? Doesn't suit his uh, 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 his uh, majesty. So because of the truth, uh, everything is uh, has a purpose. And it could be to establish the truth, meaning uh, he has to establish the truth, right? Because this world, uh, in this world, so many injustice happen with people, right? So there is, there should be some authority that is going to um, uh, do justice on the day of judgment, right? So reward and punishment. So this is uh, Bil Haqqi could be uh, taken in three meanings uh, in that way. So most of the mankind and disbelievers, which is generally mankind when are saying, because believers believe that uh, there is a, a day of resurrection, right? But uh, most of the mankind, which is referring to disbeliever generally, do not have knowledge and too busy to know about it, right? So again, uh, in uh, ayah of quran -e Park, it says, Afa hasibtum annama khalaqnakum abasan wa annakum ilayna la turjaun. Uh, then did you think that we created you uselessly, aimlessly, without any purpose, and that to us you should not be returned? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking a, a rhetorical question over here. So how foolish, how stupid uh, is, is the concept? Uh, you are thinking that we have just created you aimlessly and you are not going to be uh, resurrected and uh, uh, held accountable. Uh, ayah number 40. Inna yawmal firstly mi qatuhum ajma'in. So inna is our harfu nasab, yawmal firstly 
is a um, idafa fragment plus this is the isam of inna so together it is our uh, muktada right uh, yoma is zarf too <coughs> so this is our muktada inna inna yoma firstly and me ka to whom which is idafa fragment so this is our khabar and uh, ajmain uh, is uh, over here for toki uh, grammarian are saying and uh, th uh, this is for Tokid, and they are saying that this is Fi Mahalli Jar. Why it is Fi Mahalli Jar? Because uh, it is uh, going back to the whom. So it is referring to whom. And whom is Mudafilehi. Mudafilehi, what is the status of Mudafilehi Jar, right? So that's why they are saying this Ajmain is on the status of uh, Jar. So indeed, uh, inna yomar first, firstly, indeed, the day of uh, uh, separation. So fasal mean to separate something. Inna yomar firstly, indeed, the day of separation, me ka to whom it's appointed time uh, or their appointed time for it, ajmain altogether. So meaning uh, <laughs> there is no doubt about it. <clears throat> That the day of judgment when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge between the creature is the time appointed for all of them. So ajmain all together, right? There is no uh, escape from it. Every from very first, uh, from uh, Adam to the last person on earth, they will be all together, right? So this is... Uh, 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 what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, our appointed time is already uh, written and it is going to happen and uh, all of us, the whole creation will be there on the day of fasal. And what is day of fasal? So here the purpose is explained uh, to prepare themselves for the day of judgment in which everyone has to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will reward or punish based on our deed in our worldly life. So that time is already fixed. Each and every one of us all together has to stand in front of him. And then Yomul Fasal uh, means the day of separation. Separation from what? So this is separation between people of Jannah from people of Hellfire. So they are going to be separate on that day. Together, uh, in this world, everyone is uh, together, right? So we don't know who will go to hellfire and who will go to Jannah, right? We are living together. But on the day of judgment, they will be separated. Believers, uh, or it could be separation, believers separation from anything that, they, uh, that can harm them, subhanAllah. So the believers would be separated from any kind of grief, difficulties, right? We know that uh, in this world, a believer has to face so many difficulties, especially in these days due to Islam, right? We have to uh, face so many problems, right? So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to remove all these difficulties, uh, no more difficulties, no more grief, no more problems on the day of judgment for the believers, subhanAllah. So how, what a relief we are having over here uh, that uh, we will be separated uh, from any kind of grief. And on the other hand, separation, from, uh, separation of disbelievers from any kind of mercy or enjoyment or happiness or comfort. <laughs> so disbelievers, uh, they are not going to uh, have any kind of mercy or any kind of uh, comfort in the uh, day of judgment. So this is beautiful, right? Yomul Fasl, uh, that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to uh, separate uh, believers from disbelievers, one thing, and then um, uh, believers, the separation from any kind of uh, 
uh, grief or any kind of uh, uh, problem and difficulty. Subhanallah, what a relief. <coughs> so then I'm uh, moving on to ayah number 41. Yawma la yugni maulan. Okay, sorry. Did I miss anything? No. Okay, yawma la yukni maulan an maulan shay'an wala hum yunsarun. So on the day, on the day of uh, Yomul Fasal, because we just read about Yomul Fasal, right? So this Yom is referring to the same Yomul Fasal, and that's why we are saying this Yoma is the Badal. So Yoma. And on the day of Fasr, La Yogani, uh, not going to avail Maulan, any Maula. Who is Maula? Maula is uh, someone who is very uh, powerful and protected friend, right? In this world, everyone has mm. someone. Yeah. <coughs> someone to help us out, right? Uh, even our uh, parents are very protective, right? So everyone has someone, some Mawla, but on the day of judgment, these Mawla are not going to be any help. So La Yuni Maulan An Maulan. So no Mawla would be able to help any other Mawla. Shay'an in any kind of form or shape, right? Not even uh, a small favor or a big favor. So not any kind of uh, uh, favor they can do. Wallahum yun sarun, and they themselves will not going to be helped at all. So yun sarun, this is majhul, right? So they are not going to be helped. So yoma over here, as I said, that this is uh, uh, basically the badal for uh, inna yomal fasli. So we had inna yom al fasli in the previous ayah, and uh, this yoma is basically badal of that. So yugni, yugni basically this is uh, avana yugni. So this is uh, aslama yuslimo family, uh, family four. So avana yugni agniyan, and mugni would be uh, some file. So la yugni maulan, and this maulan is file of yugni. And it's look like it's mansoor, but it's not. So this is uh, uh, non-flexible, right? So it's like Musa. So that's why we, we will see it in all three uh, version, the same. So Maulan, this is the file of Yoni. An Maulan, so this is uh, MBF because uh, related to Yoni. And then Shay'an is uh, Mafulun Bihi. And uh, wow is a tough over here, la is la nafia, and uh, whom is our muptada, and yun saruna is our khabar, uh, and then yun saruna is majhul, because u and a sound right. So this is our majhul, and uh, if it is majhul, where is the knife file? So knife file is inside, which is whom? And Nasara uh, Yansuru, it's easy, right? So this is Yunsaruna. Uh, so basically, uh, yeah, that's it. So the day on which no powerful protective friends would be able to help or aid in any form or shape, they themselves won't be able to find any help. So no mola will be able to help any other mola in any way. And uh, some uh, uh, tafsir scholars, they say that uh, this ayah is referring to Abu Jahal. So once Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam was giving a dawa and uh, Abu Jahal came and he tried to annoy and humiliate Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when Prophet kind of threatened him about, uh, about the punishment of hellfire and Akhira, right? 
that you need to fix your uh, act you need to be a believer otherwise uh, these are the consequences the, then what what was his response he said you are threatening me i am aziz and kareem so aziz mean i am very powerful and kareem mean i am very noble so i have powers and authority and uh, so many supporters and people on my side your rub can do anything to me so um, this is the uh, response to abu jahal's uh, statement that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that you think you are very powerful so we will see you on the day of judgment then uh, then ikrama's uh, ikrama which is uh, uh, son of uh, abu sufyan right and he was the student of uh, ibn abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said that uh, on the day of judgment our own family father mother siblings would uh, uh, run away from us right we know that this is uh, even um, uh, surat abasa clearly says that our parents uh, our mother our uh, siblings even our uh, friends they are going to run away from each other and even surat al haqqa Uh, has the same uh, uh, concept uh, um, saying that uh, all these uh, relationship they would be running away rather people would be thinking uh, going to these uh, if they are going uh, facing these people they are going to these uh, relation they are not going them for a good intention rather they want to get uh, good deeds out of them that you have uh, uh like abused me on that occasion so you need to give me your good deed so that would be the intention if they are seeing each other otherwise they're going to run away and they are running away for the same reason that uh, uh because since i did something wrong with the, uh, with that person with that uh, a mother or a child or my relations so people are running away so they don't ask our good deeds So, and we know that even prophets uh, would be saying on that day nafsi nafsi right so everyone has their own worry about their own self so there is no one uh, to take care of any other rather everyone is worried about themselves uh, so our main worry should be to save ourselves from hell fire um and this concept we know that uh, even aitul kursi right uh, it says that uh, there is no one going to be any help and even uh, uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told hazrat fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu and that uh, if you want anything in in this world ask me now i would provide you but on the day of judgment i won't be able to help you at all <coughs> so if it is prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam saying that then we need to think about it right if we think that okay someone else gonna be any help over there next aya aya number 42 uh, so it says that illa accept man rahim allah whoever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show mercy innahu indeed he allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who al azizur rahim so he has uh, he is al aziz and he is ar rahim so um, there is uh, uh, not anyone going to be any help for anyone but whoever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show mercy on right so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, keep us uh, uh, under his special mercy on the day of judgment Uh, so illa uh, is the uh, harfu istisna over here or uh, harfu hasar whatever we can call and then man over here is uh, man mausula if it is man mausula we need a sila and uh, rahimallahu is uh, the sila of uh, man uh, and uh, then innahu this is uh, mubtada and hu uh, alazizur rahim we can take the whole sentence as a khabar and then we can further break down that who is our mubtada al aziz is our khabar number 1 and ar rahim is khabar number 
and uh, uh, this sentence is taken as a jumla ismiya taliriya so this is uh, giving a reason uh, uh, like uh, that uh, yes there is no help but uh, if allah subhanahu wa taala show mercy on someone then he will uh, would be under his uh, mercy so um, uh, so no help except whom allah subhanahu wa taala himself show mercy and love and who are these uh, special people and who is this man who, who is allah subhanahu wa taala going to show mercy those who used to acknowledge him in this worldly life and spent a cautious life the life of taqwa right if we are fearing allah subhanahu wa taala if we are fearing that uh, uh, yes we have to stand in front of allah subhanahu wa taala and we are working accordingly we are living accordingly then obviously allah subhanahu wa taala is uh, going to protect and uh, keep us safe on the uh, day of judgment and uh, it says that uh, hazrat abu talib was the best of uh, uh, any disbeliever right because he was the great supporter of uh, prophet muhammad mm-hmm. sallallahu alaihi wasallam so basically he uh, he was the best of kuffar yet he will receive the least punishment of hellfire and uh, what is this least punishment that he is going to be wearing the shoes of hellfire and uh, even that least punishment so he is just wearing the shoes uh, allahu alam what kind of shoes they are that they have kind of fire in it and uh, it will burn his brain and skull so this and this is the least punishment so basically allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that there is no excuse and why um, uh, this punishment because there is no excuse for anyone to be arrogant after having the knowledge about him so abu talib um, had the knowledge right prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was with him and he told him uh, asked him that he can accept but uh, just because of a uh, 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 tribal concept that how he can leave the religion of his forefathers he didn't accept uh, so that's why uh, he is going to be punished so prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam won't be able to help abu talib even uh, who was the best supporter of him and he Uh, loves him so much but you know this is due to uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's shafa that he is going to get this least punishment so uh, uh, he he is a help in a way but not completely so since he was not a believer if he was a believer if he has just said kalma on his last uh, uh, in his last moment then prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, says that he would be able to do something right he he can beg allah subhanahu wa taala but uh, uh, since he didn't do that he die as a disbeliever so now he has to face uh, the consequences and uh, uh, this is the least punishment he is going to get and then uh, hadith says about the shafa that even the believers will be able to intercede for each other uh, by the reason of allah subhanahu wa taala so out of his mercy uh, when allah subhanahu wa taala um, like know someone or love someone but this person kind of uh, uh, ended in the hell fire right and when his uh, kind of he got his uh, uh, punishment right because uh, uh, allah subhanahu wa taala want everyone uh, like uh, uh, the believers even when they uh, fall short of uh, their deeds right they are going to end up in hell fire they have to face uh, uh, some punishment and then if allah subhanahu wa taala has mercy upon them then they would be out of the hell fire right so if uh, if someone who ended uh, in hell fire and then 
uh, his uh, other relation, his friends or uh, siblings or mother or father. So some relation was in the uh, Jannah. So they were in Jannah, but this uh, person ended up in hellfire because he has to face the consequences of his deed. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he would decide out of his mercy, uh, he will put a thought in this believer's heart that uh, he is missing that person. And then this person is going to show his wish to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, I, I'm not happy without that person, right? I'm missing that person. And we know that uh, in um, Jannah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want anyone to be gloomy or uh, 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 like miss something that is going to be a complete life, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his mercy would allow that person to be out of the hellfire. So that shows that uh, uh, even believers would be able to uh, do intercede for other believers, but out of uh, mercy and by the izan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what is the lesson we are uh, getting over here? That we should have a good company. We should have uh, good friends. We should have righteous friends. Uh, only then it is going to happen, right? So companionship, so uh, we should keep good companionship so they can remember us and intercede for us. And the same is the case for the family if they were believers, but... Uh, uh, fall short of good deeds and end it up in hellfire, uh, right? So then they can intercede, but we cannot rely on it, thinking that, okay, my mother is a pious lady or I have a righteous friends, so they are going to intercede uh, for me. So this that should not be the thinking, right? And what are the conditions of uh, Shafa? That uh, number one, should be a believer, okay? So we cannot do shafa against disbeliever. So if we, we have a, a disbeliever friend and it ended up in hellfire, right? So then you cannot uh, make shafa or dua for that person. So it should be a believer. And only by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So even though we wish uh, and but, uh, um, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't allow us, right? So we, uh, it's not going to work out. And then uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be pleased by this person too. That is also a condition. <coughs> and then we can see uh, over here it says, Inna hu huwal al azizur rahim, huwal azizur rahim, right? In, in many places, we see that uh, mostly it says, Huwal Azizul Hakim. So Aziz, he has all powers and authority, yet he is Hakim. He, is, uh, he used his powers wisely. You know that uh, uh, recently we, uh, we saw the story of Pharaoh, right? So Pharaoh has a uh, has all these powers and authority and how did he misuse his powers and authority, right? Killing uh, innocent uh, kids and uh, like uh, 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 genociding their uh, uh, lineage, right? So, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, always we see Al-Aziz and Al-Hakim. So he has power, but he used his powers very wisely. Otherwise, we can see that uh, how left and right we do uh, sins right if he uh, even though he has all these powers and authority right and then he can um, uh, like uh, grab us but he doesn't do it right so al aziz and al hakim but over here it says al aziz and ar rahim not hakim so this is very unique combination and this is used to only few times uh, in the quran e mostly Al-Aziz and Al-Hakim, but uh, rarely Al-Aziz Ar-Rahim. And uh, the scholar says that mostly when you see Al-Aziz Ar-Rahim, it would be uh, the, um, uh, in the context of uh, uh, Jahannam, 
So whenever Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is mentioning Jahannam, then He always bringing a Rahim over here. Yes, He has all these authority, yet He is going to be Rahim. So that is His um, um, uh, like special mercy that He is showing uh, even on the Day of Judgment. <laughs> Okay, so now ayah number 43. Onwards, these ayahs are so scary, so scary. May Allah save us from hellfire. These are very scary, these ayahs. Uh, so ayah number 43, it says, Inna shajarata zakum. So inna indeed shajara mean tree, zakum. Zakum is a tree in hellfire. So indeed, the, uh, 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 the tree of Zakum. So basically, this is not even a sentence. This is just our Muktada because Inna and this is Shajarata is uh, Isam of Inna and then it is uh, Mudaf and Zakum is Mudaf Ilahi, right? So basically, this is whole Muktada over here and the Khabar is the next raya. So verily the tree of Zakum, and now Shajara, you see that um, uh, with open ta over here, but in uh, uh, in some uh, Arabic text, I saw it with uh, round ta too. So both way it is fine. Like we say Samara or uh, um, with, uh, uh, with open ta, so it is totally fine. And even we can just say Samar or Samara with the, um, the meaning are same. So same like Shajara or Shajara with the. Uh, so out of his mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warns and describes hell. So um, I, as I'm saying that these uh, next ayat are so scary and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is... Uh, painting a very graphic imagery of hellfire. And uh, this is out of his mercy that he is showing us, he is describing all these things uh, to us in this world so we can fix ourselves and we do not uh, face the consequences. We do not end up over there. So he warns and describes hell and its punishment. So we get our acts together and save ourselves from its uh, torments. It's like uh, a scared straight, uh, strategy. So basically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, scaring us. So we fix ourselves. And uh, it is laid out for us so graphically. Its imagery is so powerful and scary that we can imagine the picture in our head clearly. And he did that so we get terrified and fix ourselves. Otherwise, we won't take it seriously. And we know that uh, uh, even though hell is uh, described so graphically in the Quran, but uh, do you really uh, do we really uh, take it so seriously in our life? No, right? So even though Allah Subhanahu wa Taala describe all these uh, hellfire and its torments so graphically, so clearly, right? But still, we are not getting our acts together. One, because uh, we do not even understand Arabic, right? We do not know what we are reading when we are reciting quran e just in mostly in our uh, uh, Ramadan, right? We are Ramadan Muslim. So we recite quran e only in Ramadan. And even then we don't know what we are reciting. So how we can get our acts together, unfortunately, right? So, and today people have taken it as a joke. Uh, the hellfire is taken as a joke in modern entertainment. We see that t-shirts and jackets saying highway to hell. Right? Pictures of flaming skulls on t-shirts. Cartoons are made um, uh, made showing people of hell. Right? 
superheroes that comes out from hellfire people journeying to hell and coming back out like a pri prisoner can escape from the prison so it's all joke and fun for them and why they are doing that so we don't feel any uh, 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 don't feel scared about hellfire and all these punishment mentioned in quran e pak right so look like uh, they know quran e pak more than us right and basically these are the tricks of shaitan right so shaitan uh, kind of uh, put thoughts in their uh, head how we can make fun, fun of uh, hellfire and uh, not only these uh, non uh, believers but rather even we as a muslim make jokes of hellfire right uh, like uh, uh, our joke that okay every celebrity gonna be in hellfire right so there will there is going to be more fun in hellfire what gonna be in uh, uh, in janna janna all boring people gonna be over there right so now zbilla this is uh, this kind of joke we make right so this is not any joke and the hellfire and uh, janna is real so uh, we should not be making any joke regarding uh, hellfire and unfortunately everyone is doing it and they are kind of uh, uh, has made this uh, um, uh, hellfire as a horror stories to entertain people and then about zakum zakum uh, i was so uh, like scared by a uh reading about this uh, tree that uh, this horrible tree uh it is uh, growing in the hellfire and where in the hellfire in the very midst of hellfire allahu alam how allah subhanahu wa taala is making it grow this tree in the fire so in the midst of hellfire this uh, um uh, the kum tree is uh, growing and it has very uh, nasty look and taste and its smell even it's very bad and it is very hard to swallow and ibn, uh, ibn abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu said that if a drop of this tree just a drop from this uh, tree of the kum fall in this dunya everything will be spoiled in this world subhanallah so and uh, this is going to be the food of uh, people of hell not for one day or two rather it will be for them every single day allah subhanahu wa taala allowed this tree to grow in the midst of in the middle of hellfire growing in the deep deep hell the most burning site so it is in the very middle and its branches are like the heads of shaitan very ugly nasty and horrible and scary to look at so um a very graphic uh, picture of uh, this uh, uh, shajaratul zakum is given over here and uh, uh, like you know that how horrible that tree is that even just one drop can ruin the taste and smell and uh, uh, what not of this world right so may allah subhanahu wa taala uh Uh, save us from all kinds of uh, torments of hellfire and then more about uh, uh, this uh, shajaratul zakum is mentioned in uh, other uh, parts of quran and i think but uh, no i don't remember what surah it was if you will search just uh, shajaratul zakum and then you will find all these entries where we have in quran e pak right so i forgot what a surah it is so basically uh, in this surah again 
uh, it is saying that innaha shajaratun so this tree tahruju uh, it will it is coming out or growing fi aslil jahim in the mid in the midst of in the middle of the hellfire taluha so it's uh, shoots or its branches ka annahu it's like ra'usu shayatin it's the heads of help uh, heads of devils subhanallah fa innahum la aqiluna minha and they will eat it fa maliuna minhal butun and this is how they are going to fill their bellies subhanallah summa inna lahum alayha la shawbam min hamim and on top of it because uh, uh, it is very hard to swallow right so they won't be able to swallow it will be stuck in on, in their uh, um, in their mouth so what uh, gonna happen then they are going to be given the boiling water to just uh, 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 like gulp it down and sumaina marji hum lail al jahim inna hum alfa aba hum dalin because uh, why it is happening because they were just doing what their forefather were doing right so they were so stubborn that they do not want to change their ways they think that uh, whatever they found their forefathers on they are going to stick with uh, with uh, these uh, rituals and with these uh, concepts illa ibadallah al mukhlasin i love this part so only who is saved from all these uh, torment only the people who are mukhlasin who were sincere um, um uh, like slaves of allah subhanahu wa taala so whatever they did in this world just for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala just to make him happy right so they will be all saved from these torments and yeah okay so inna shajarat az zaqum so we said this is our muqtada right so ta'amul asim so ta'am mean food asim the one who is a, a, a perpetual uh, sinner one uh, not one uh, who does sin sometimes rather the one who does over and over and keep doing it right so very persistent on his uh, crimes on his sins so asim is uh, on the pattern of uh, fa'il right rahim uh, the one who is uh, uh, perpetual of doing something uh, so habitual so that was his habit the sinning was the habit of that person and uh, so in nashajarat az zaqum is our muqtada and ta'amul asim is the khabar of inna so fi mahalli rafa so food of the one who used to constantly engross himself in sinning and uh, it says that it refers to abu jaha he once mocked at prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam saying that do you think i will eat from the tree of zakum and then he called his servant and asked to serve him food which was very luxurious of this uh, of his time right so he was trying to make fun of the ayah that how is it possible that i have luxury of life here and i will suffer in the hereafter then it says ayah number 45 kal muhli yaguli fil butun so muhl is the uh, it's used in quran pak many times and uh, even it says that on the day of judgment all these uh, mountains will be uh, like uh, they will be so hot right so it it's like they will turn into oil some kind of oil they will melt we know that lava right so lava is like uh, some kind of uh, we can take it as a oil right so kal muhli 
So like the uh, like boiling, yaguli, uh, and sizzling. So um, uh, this is from uh, like you know that when something is really hot and uh, it sizzles. For example, if uh, you have a very hot uh, pan and then you put some oil in it, or there is uh, uh, hot oil and you put uh, you know, water in it, what's gonna happen? It's flat, right? So it makes sizzling sound. So kal muhli yogli fil butun. So like a boiling oil, it will boil in the bellies. It will sizzle in their bellies. So ta'amuhum, basically it is saying that ta'amuhum, their food is like the boiling oil, which is yagli fil butun. It will boil, it will sizzle in their tummies. So when they will eat this uh, hot uh, substance, whatever it is, uh, even it will make sizzling sound inside their bellies. It is so hot. Um, we in uh, Surat uh, Kahaf it says, "Kal muhli yash will buju." So when they will drink it, the inside of them will burn like it will. Um, we can imagine if there is something and uh, we cannot even uh, imagine how hot uh, our uh, go things going to be in the hellfire, right? In this worldly, if we uh, someone just uh, uh, drink uh, uh, boiling water, what's gonna happen? Even we cannot uh, uh, drink, uh, just uh, he can take just one sip, right? Uh, he cannot more than that. He will just, uh, he, he can do that, but in the, uh, uh, hellfire, Allah alam how they will made to drink. They are not going to uh, drink it willi willingly or um, they will be so thirsty that they got no choice, right? So they will drink and this drink will be so hot that it will burn uh, inside and even it will make sizzling sound. Now, Zvila. May Allah save us from the hellfire and even uh, keep us far 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 away we do not even look at the hellfire so this uh, kalmuho uh, is uh, our jar mashur mutalik bil mehsoof khabar sani so they are saying that uh, there is a khabar mehsoof over here and this kalmuhli is uh, uh, MBK for that, and we can take it as a ta'amuhum. So basically, we can take this as the, uh, um, uh, it is regarding kalmuhli, uh, or we can say that ta'amuhum, so their food, so that can be our muqtada, and then kalmuhli is our MBK, right? So forget about the concept of khabar sani over here, we can, uh, that is easier to understand. So ta'amuhum is muqtada and kalmuhli is MBK over here. And then yaquli, this is felun uh, mudariya. And then ghala, yaquli, ughiliyan. So ghala, yaquli, ughiliyan, uh, or ughiliyanan. And uh, then ghalin, this is bab daraba. And then filbutuni is uh, our um, MBF regarding uh, Yawli, right? And uh, this is also said that this is uh, Jumla uh, Halia. So it is uh, describing that uh, 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 how their ta'am ta is going to be, right? Yawli fil butun, it is going to sizzle in their tummy. So muho is uh, boiling hot water or oil also used for blood. So this mohal, Allahu alam, what is that? Uh, either it is hot water or oil or blood. And we know that, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the liquid or substance comes from the wounds, right? In the hellfire, we see that uh, 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 people would be wounded and uh, 
all these extract of their wound is going to fall over the whoever the people are underneath them, right? So basically, uh, these uh, maybe Allahu Alam that could be the substance uh, we are talking about uh, over here, Kal Muhli. So Yauli is the sizzling sound. This hot water will get into the belly and will make a sizzling sound in it. And among the boiling liquid, oil is the worst than water. We know that, right? So uh, uh, the way the water boil, oil does not boil like that. But in this hellfire, this is mentioned that oil is boiling like water. And it will be forced, uh, force fed to them because they are not going to drink it. How they can drink it, right? So they will be forced to drink it. Or otherwise, they don't have a choice because they are eating the comb and it is stuck in their mouth. And then they got no choice. They, are going, they have to drink something to put it down. Then it says, Kawal yil hamim. So, like the boiling of scalding water. So, again, uh, this is our jar, Majru, right? And it says, Mutalik bil mahsoof sifa maful mutlak. So, basically, uh, we can think that hugil yanan is maful mutlak over here. And hugil uh, yanan, since it is uh, uh, nakira, right? And after uh, nakira, when we have uh, jar majroor, it is uh, taken as a sifa of it, right? So uh, that's why we are saying that this is the sifa. And kawalil hamim, since this is uh, 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 like um, idafa fragment, right? So they are all together. So this is sifa, maful mutlak. And uh, uh, it says that we can take this sentence as uh, Tawli wiliyanan mithla wiliyan al hamim. So uh, the boiling, uh, the sizzling of, uh, is like the sizzling of water. So this oil, even though oil does not sizzle or boil like a water, but uh, this uh, oil sizzling is like the sizzling or the boiling of uh, this uh, of hot water. So the scorching and sizzling of the hot boiling water, this is what it means. Either this oil will boil like a water boils or there will be a switch between water and oil or a mixture of both. So they will be given either water or the oil or sometime just for the variety, the mixture of both, subhanallah. So what they are going to have over there, may Allah not make among them at all, at all, at all. Then ayah number 48, huzuhu fatiluhu ila sawa'il jaheem. Huzuhu, take them, like seize them, grab, fatiluhu, grab them, drag them, ila to sawa al jahim the middle, the midst of blazing fire. So this is the command given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the angels, right? To the, um, like, uh, uh, the guard of the uh, hellfire. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, so huzuhu, okay, let's do grammatical uh, analysis first. So huzuhu, we can see that this vow is telling us that this is uh, plural, right? So fail amr, and uh, the file is antum, and this who is our mafulun bihi, huzuhu. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to angels that you all. So not only one angel, I was kind of amazed by seeing that one angel is good enough for that person. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving command to all the angels over there. Subhanallah. Khuzuhu. So you all grab him. Fa'atiluhu. Uh, so uh, take him. 
Fatiluhu and grab him. So this him is the criminal over here. Ila Sawail Jahim. So now Khuzuhu, uh, as we said, Telamaran and Antum, and who is Mafulun Bihi, and then Fa uh, is Ataf over here, and Fa uh, Tiluhu, this is again Amar, Antum, and who is our Mafulun Bihi, and Ila Sawail Jahim is our MDF and uh, Idafa fragment. And then Khuzu, we know this is from Akhaza, Ya Khuzu, Akhazan. And Akhizun, this is Bab Nasara. And then we have Ta'kuzu, right? From Ta'kuzu um, uh, or Ta'kuzuna, then uh, it will become Kuzuhu, right? Because uh, um, when we drop this Ta, uh, so basically this is Ta'kuzuna, right? And then we're gonna drop this, we're gonna drop that. And, uh, oops. So, so ta huzuna. And now, when we drop that, we are able to pronounce that huzu, right? So even though then this uh, weak letter, we are going to drop this alif. We don't need that, right? So huzu is go good enough. So khuz, khuza, and then huzu. So this is how huzu is. Khuzu hu, fatilu hu, and then fatilu. This is from ala, ayn lam alif, ala yalu, ulwan, and alin. And we know that <clears throat> Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? This is the same uh, root letter. We have the ala from there. Like uh, someone is very high, someone is very great, right? But when it is coming to family eight, uh, it is giving the meaning of grabbing someone, seizing someone, dragging someone. Uh, and uh, that's it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, uh, commanding and uh, that grab him and shove him in the very deep middle of the hellfire. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Huzuhu, 70,000 angels would run to fulfill his command. Subhanallah. And he has created the angels for hellfire. They do not have any mercy at all for all these criminals. We know that, right? The angel of hellfire, the guards of hellfire, they do not have any feelings. They do not have any mercy, right? So they just fulfill the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So even though people are crying and suffering, they are not going to feel any pain for them. So they are created to terrify them and their job is to horrify and punish them. So no mercy is expected from them. Okay, Aya number 48, inshallah, we are getting close. Okay. Thumma, then, subu, pour, pour what? So the, the substance they are having, that kalmukhl, uh, something like uh, this oil, is going to be pour, where? Fauka rasihi, on his head. Min athabil hamim, from uh, like some of this min over here is a, a kind of min tab'idiya, like part of it, azab uh, al-hamim, of this hamim, of this uh, uh, torment of uh, that boiling water. So now another uh, way to torture them is explained over here that uh, uh, this boiling water, before they were drinking it, right? And when they will drink, everything inside will melt, right? And then this substance is going to be poured over them, over their head. Yeah, 
<clears throat> keep us safe from the hellfire. So summa over here uh, is uh, for the order. So first thing happened and now uh, the next thing is that uh, this is going to be pour over them. And the subbu is uh, fail amar and uh, this is uh, antum. So again, this is the command to the angels, right? And then fauka rasihi min azabil hamim. So fauka rasi is zarf. Uh, uh, and this is MBF regarding uh, Sabu. And then Min over uh, here it says Min Harfusila. So basically we can take it as Min Tabaidia, meaning um, Bada Hatanu. So something like that is going to be pour over them. And uh, uh, basically it is saying that this Min is uh, Min Zaida over here, right? So without this mean, uh, this should should be azab al hamim, right? There should be mafulun bihi. So what should pour over their head? Uh, this azab al hamim. So that should be uh, uh, mansub. This is mafulun bihi. But this min, which is min zayda, and min tabiidiya, is saying that okay, part of this uh, uh, this uh, torment this uh, scalding water, uh, scalding water, boiling water uh, is going to be pour over their head. So and that's why, because of this mean, uh, this is majroor. So that's why we are saying that uh, this is majroor lafzan. So uh, as a lafzan, it is uh, majroor, but uh, actually it should be mansub, which is uh, mafulun bihi. And then, Sabba, Yasubu, Sabban, and then Sabun. So this is the uh, conjugation. And then it says, Summa, Subbu, Fauka, Rasi, Minazabil, Hamim, Kala, Mukatil. So Mukatil is saying that uh, in Khazin and Nari, the guardian of uh, hellfire, Yad Ribuhu. So they are basically uh, saying that this particular punishment is for Abu Jahab. So uh, it says that uh, uh, the guardian of uh, guardian of uh, hellfire they are going to hit ala rasihi on his head fayan kubu rasahu and when they will hit on his head what going to happen it kind of melt the head the brain would melt and fell down over his body summa Yasubu fihi maan, and then this maan is going to be pour this uh, hamiman, maan hamiman, this uh, boiling water is going to be pour over him, over his head. Tadin taha haruhu, and we know that uh, this is extremely hot. The temperature of this water is extremely hot. That is going to be pour over his head. So to add to the misery and punishment of uh, uh, punishment, so hard boiling water or oil would be poured over the head. And, uh, and as, as I said, this is uh, saying that uh, uh, it is happening to Abu Jahal. And why it is happening, uh, we will see in next ayah. So Abu Suf uh, Sufyan Asouri, uh, he was one of the... Um, I think the companion or uh, Tabi, uh, not sure. So before his death, he started urinating blood. So the doctor, when uh, he was taken to the doctor, the doctor uh, said that uh, there is no hope for him. Why? Because he is so fearful of the hellfire that his liver has become blood. So he is thinking about hellfire so much and he is so scared of the hellfire that his liver has become a blood. So he cannot survive anymore. So companions used to uh, be so scared of hellfire in their dreams, uh, many companions. 
they uh, uh, it is reported that uh, uh, at night they just uh, wake up uh, because they are they saw in their dream the hellfire or the uh, torments of hellfire and uh, they couldn't sleep so that was their state and we know that they were the best of uh, 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 like best of umma right and uh, th this is what uh, their condition was because all day they are thinking about hellfire and working to save themselves from it, right? So in their dreams, obviously, when you you are scared of something so much, then in even in your dream, you're going to see um, these things, right? So that's why they used to dream about hellfire and uh, they used to get so scared about it. So may Allah give us that insight that uh, we... Um, uh, kind of uh, be scared of hellfire and save ourselves uh, through our act, through our deeds, right? So we should also realize it uh, because it is real and we need to live a cautious life to avoid all these uh, horrible ending. And uh, these are uh, uh, some duas to save us from hellfire, you know, Many of uh, us uh, memorize all these duas, but uh, just as a reminder, because uh, about this, Allahumma uh, inni asalukal jannata wa auzu bika minan nar, very small and easy dua. And it is said that uh, when you say uh, this dua, uh, then what happened? The janna itself ask uh, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, oh Allah, have mercy and grant this uh, person Jannah. And uh, this hellfire, when we say three times, we when uh, ask Allah's protection from hellfire three times, then what happened? This hellfire itself make dua that, oh Allah, keep this person safe from me. So subhanallah, we need to make uh, it a habit that uh, in our salah, we should be making a lot of duas to keep ourselves uh, safe from the hellfire. And uh, this is also very beautiful dua. Allahumma inni asalukal jannata. So Allah, we ask for jannah. Bama karraba ilayha. And whatever bring us closer to it, closer to a jannah, min kaulin o amal. So in our statements and in our, um, in our deeds. So we should not be just asking with our mouth only, or rather we do uh, uh, like uh, we act accordingly, right? To get closer to Jannah. And same wa'auzu become in a nari and save us from the hellfire. Vama karraba ilayha min kaulin and amal. And whatever uh, uh, like uh, make us closer to uh, seek protection from the uh, hellfire, right? So th this is beautiful dua. So I put them over here. So if uh, you guys didn't memorize it here, so I would highly recommend that we need to memorize them and make it a habit to make in uh, our sujood these duas. And then it says, Zuk inna ka antal azizul kareem. Zuk, taste. So this is command, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we see all these uh, previous uh, torments. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, now telling these criminals that you, uh, you taste inna ka, indeed you are antal azizul kareem. You used to think that you are very uh, powerful and you are very noble, right? So we saw this uh, statement, who said that? Abu Jahal said that, right? So again, uh, that can be particular to him, but uh, 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 we do not just see when something is particular to someone, why Allah SWT has mentioned it. So we learn a lesson from it and uh, we do not think that uh, we have some power and authority and we can just uh, escape from uh, uh, the punishment and torment of uh, um, hellfire, right? So, zuk inna kantal azizul kareem. So, taste 
this uh, all this punishment verily you were pretending to be mighty and generous so this is the translation and then zuk we know that fil amar and fil is anta innaka so this is our muptada and then anta lazizul karim is khabar and then anta is muptada al aziz and al karim khabar one and khabar two and zafa yazuku this is uh, bab nasara so easy aya uh, what does it says the angel would say taste this torment you were too drunk in crossed and uh, obsessed with uh, by your nobility authority and status to accept the truth right we know all these criminals pharaoh leaders of art samud leader of quraish abu jahal abu lahab right so they were all arrogant and they all used to think that they are very al aziz and uh, karim right <clears throat> so it uh, allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that no man is uh, um, like uh, 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 has power on that day right and where is your no- nobility now now you have to taste and to see all this humility what a humiliation is hell fire oh my goodness so where is your nobility and powers now this is the question basically i uh, asked to them and uh, again it says that uh, it, uh, it is referring to abu jahal uh, once prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was giving a dawa and uh, he came and tried to annoy and humiliate prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told him about the torments of hell fire then he said that you are threatening me i am uh, aziz and kareem right so these were his words so is uh, repeating over here i have powers and authority so many supporters and people on my side and your rub can do anything to me and uh, what happened on badr on badr allah subhanahu wa taala made him killed with humiliation and then angels came and said these ayat zuk inna ka antal azizul karim so they were hitting him uh, and they were saying that zuk inna ka antal azizul karim so this is the response of allah subhanahu wa taala to all the uh, arrogant authorities and the last ayah uh, inna hada ma kuntum bihi tamtarun so inna hada uh indeed it is ma what kuntum you used to be he about it tamtarun in doubt so you uh, this is what you used to be doubt, uh, doubtful about right this torment so you didn't believe in the hell fire you didn't believe in the uh, day of resurrection when you guys were told right so now this is the reality now face it so inna haza so this is our muptada ma kuntum so ma is ma mausula over here kuntum uh, bihi tamtarun basically this is the sila and uh, uh, this is also the muptada so ma kuntum bihi tamtarun is the muptada for sorry khabar for inna haza and uh, uh, kuntum we know this is uh, uh, kana plus uh, tum is the ism so this is again our muptada so bihi would be our uh, mbk in this case and tamtaruna is the khabar and uh, this is what you were in doubt uh, in doubt about it right so basically that's all so inshallah uh, that ends our session may allah save us keep us far 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 away from Uh, even smell of hell fire even we do not uh, allah subhanahu wa taala does not even let us look at the hell fire keep us all safe from all these uh, torment and uh, make us uh, among the people of uh, jannah amen ya rabbal alamin so barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al hakim wa nafani wa iyyakum bi ayati wa zikr al hakim سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت ونستغفرك ونتوب اليك